let us find the STO centers and Kaya center in this uh, molecule. It is your uh, one is cyclic and one is your double bond. So let us start with this carbon. This carbon is STO centers. Yes, uh, it has STO center. Let's mark with a star. CS3 and hydrogen, these two different groups, and one is your uh, this is different groups in this case, and one is different groups. Now, in this case, uh, is your center. So, again, you can say yes. Why? Because uh, these two different structures are there in this carbon. Here also, STS center is there. Now, let us check chiral centers. So, chiral centers in this case not possible because one double bond and one is uh, ring is there. Double bond ring is there. and uh, But in this case, we check it. Is it chiral? Yes. One, two, three, four. The four groups are different. So we can say stereo center is your uh, three and chiral center is you can see it is how many uh, one is a ring this is the chiral center is present here let's take next question 11 so let's draw structures and uh, changing little different so this is the uh, cyclopropane and again cs3 and here is hydrogen and a sheet of cs3 just you put one cs3 here and one this side is cs3 now let us check uh, stew centers. So now there is no stew centers. Very clear. Here we have one stew center and here we have one stew center. So stew center in this case will be uh, it is two, but chi center will be a zero. Now we have uh, drawn this molecule. Now let us check uh, stew center chi centers. So in this case, if you see carefully, so let us check this one. So there is a stew center. So one here, two here, three here. And one hydrogen also here, so stu center is present. In this case, also same stu center is present. Here we have again stu center is there. So if you see this one, this is the same. The two group is same. So there is no stu center. And here if you see two methyl uh, methyl group is present in same carbon. So there is no stu center. So here no stu center, no stu center. So we can say stu center is only two. No chiral centers. So of course this is a chiral center and this is a chiral center. So from here uh, we can see four different groups. So chiral center is again. Let's take another molecule. So uh, let's uh, little change it. Suppose this is your uh, double bond carbon, and here is CS3, and this is CS3. Uh, instead of one methyl, put here one methyl, and here you put two methyl CS3 and CS3. Now this is as per example. So this is your um, STO center also and chiral center also. So here uh, nothing is there, and uh, instead of this is uh, STO center since two methyl group is present, so this is not an STO center. If STO center is not there, so definitely chiral center is not there. So we can see uh, your STO center is, in this case is 1 and uh, chiral center in this case is 1. Now next examples. Let us take example number 4. Suppose CS3 and next is our uh, group. So this is CH and this is the CS2 and 1 oxygen and 1 oxygen. So now this is your your steel center, of course, uh, and this is also chiral center. See carefully because four different groups are present. So we can say steel center is one and chiral center is also one. Now this is a molecule, and we have to check this is a steel center or chiral center. So this is a, your steel center. Why? Because this carbon consists of methyl and hydrogen. Now in this case, is this nitrogen, which is positive charge, is a stereo center or not? So we can see uh, these two groups are different. So we can say this is also a stereo center. In this case, similarly, uh, this bromine, this carbon attached with the bromine, is stereo center or not? We, yes, it is a stereo center. Now let us say chiral center. So is this chiral? So this nitrogen, is, this ring is fixed. This is not a chiral, but this will be chiral. So we can say a stereo center is uh, three. But chiral center is your one. So let us take the next example. Uh, example number is there. So let us draw structures. I'm drawing this is the CS3. Here is hydrogen. Here is C2H5. And one is the bag structures. This is your D. Here hydrogen. Let us assume. And this is your compound suppose carbon cs3 and this is hydrogen and this is a deuterium so this is log look like your numan structures so let us take uh, which have two centers so in this case uh, two centers is this two centers we can say yes the behind this carbon is two center we can say yes and here you have each two center so we have three two center one is this side one is with the carbon attached to the ring 
and again second is two center so is two center we have uh, three so if you show set of three and the uh, cal centers so again of course uh, the cs3 c2 s5 hydrogen so this is also a cal centered and then this is also cal centered holding you can see hydrogen d and this is also a cal center so cal center is also three let's take another example so this is our uh, suppose here is double bond here is double bond now it is very uh, clear double bond is there is this is your center it is yes is this your center again yes is this your center again you can say yes and is this your center again yes so we can say is your center is four and now can center so in this case uh, when there are two um, alternate bond is there so there is no can centers in this case it is, it is zero let's take examples next is suppose this is the ring structures attached with the cl and this attached with the ch and here is oh and ch3 so very clear it is two centers we can say yes is two center we can say yes is two center we can say yes so this is also a chiral this is also chiral this is also a chiral so we can say two center is 3 and chiral center is also I hope uh, with the, this example you have understood what is uh, how to find steel centers and gas centers respectively.